the next situation that we're going to talk about is sympathetic vibration resonant frequency. I think I went and I banged on that wall, and you heard a low frequency, and I said if you put a bass amp over there close to that wall, it would resonate that wall. It's got a pitch in it. So consequently, if I stimulate that pitch with this amp here, once I hit those frequencies, it will stimulate this wall and cause it to vibrate. And therefore, this whole wall will be moving air at that frequency rate, which tends to, like, just make bland that frequency range. In that, that window right there, the front window is one thickness, the back window is another thickness. If I had the same thicknesses of glass on those two windows, then when we match the frequency of that front window, it would vibrate the second window. And you don't want that. You can't have that, because that would make the sound go from this room straight into the next room. And that's what that whole wall is about. It's all about keeping the sound that's in here in here, so that we can only hear the sound through the speakers in there, which is what's going to be recorded. How does sound transfer from one room to another? As soon as I can move this wall with my frequencies, it transfers to the other wall on the other side, and now it's moving the air in the other room, and now the sound is in that room.